Hi everybody, this is Mr. Wismer and we are on the Learn to Search with Google website and we're currently underneath the middle school students and you've just finished the picking the right search terms and now you're on what's in my search query and if you did the last lesson you know, you know what the word query means it's to search or your search string. So there's a few things that we want to fly through real quickly on this lesson it's a short one before you take your quiz. So the first thing is that when we're putting together a word search we have to be conscious about um, the words that we're using and every word matters so we've got some rules here so the first one is the every word matters so if we search for who versus the who or a who we're gonna get different results let's give that a try so if we try for who well we're gonna get the World Health Organization so it's an acronym um, so that's that. But if we change that to the who, well now all of a sudden we got information on the on the band the who. A little different. Let's try it to a who. Oh, Horton here's a who, so it's Dr. Seuss. So those differences are important. If we then go back and take a look at order in the, the matters that uh, of order. Blue sky and sky blue are going to get you two totally different things. So sometimes word order matters, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on what you're searching for, so be careful of that. But in this case, capitalization doesn't matter. Lowercase um, on a proper noun versus uppercase doesn't matter. If it's in all caps, it's, not, it's, it's no different. I mean, if you remember back to who, who being an acronym um, should have been in all capital letters. But it still recognizes it either way. And then finally, punctuation does matter, so we want to be cautious of um, putting in unnecessary punctuation like a comma or a percentage sign or a question mark versus just the three terms. Avoid those at all possible, unless you're looking for something specific. So if I'm searching for um, something related to a cost um, or something registered um, or um, uh, using the at symbol, then that might come up with um, things related to uh, Twitter or with uh, finance or with a registered trademark or copyright or math, a math equation. So there are times that those exceptions are important. Okay, so go through and try these and play around with some other ones. And then when you're done, move on to the quiz number one. And you'll see the quiz number one here on the next page. It's also accessible down here, quiz number one. Be sure that you put in your first name and last name and your correct full email school address. That's the way I'll send you back your results. So if your email is wrong, I won't be able to send your email, um, your, your score. And there's a handful of questions in here. So in this case, it's referring to uh, this part on the human body and what is that. So there's some questions there and how do you search that. And then there's some other simple searches. So your search skills to this point should help you get there. So do your best on that quiz. When you're done, just hit submit, and then you can go on to the next set of lessons, understanding search results. All right, good luck.